What is up YouTube? Angel R Fishing back at you guys with another exciting video today. So today we're gonna be talking Tackle Tuesday video for you guys. So what is Tackle Tuesday? Tackle Tuesday is gonna be a video where I'm gonna try to do weekly, no promises guys, where I go show you guys a piece of tackle that I've used for some time and explain it to you guys, show you different rigging methods with it and all that sorts of stuff. So for first Tackle Tuesday video, we're gonna be talking about a company called Nico Bates. So what is Nico Bates? We don't really know. Well, Nico Bates is basically next generation of soft baits, meaning they make plastic. So we're gonna go show you guys one of their plastics that they offer. I absolutely love using for catching those river smallmouth. So now some of you guys love catching smallmouth and some of you guys may not, or you guys may be fishing lakes. Don't worry about that because the versatility from this plastic allows you to target largemouth bass as well in ponds or in lakes or in quarries. I actually fished this Helgramite this past year in ponds, lakes, quarries, and I've done wonders. And I thought it was a great river bait, but no, there's different ways to rig this that you can use to your advantage. So I'm gonna show you. So this is basically what I'm talking about. It's just the Helgramite. Henceforth, it being named the Helgramite. And we got one right here. As you guys can see, this is what they're packaging. I actually I have a package of them open out right now. Give me a sec, let me go get that real quick. All right, guys, we're back. And I got you guys a Helgramite that's outside of the package. I didn't want to open up that one because I got to still use it for something else. But as you guys can see, this is the Nico Bates Helgramite. It doesn't look that much to it, guys. But the neat thing about Nico Bates is they're similar to the Z-Man. So now if you're aware with the Z-Man products, you know that they're extremely stretchable, extremely durable. Well, so are these. As you guys can see, ordinary Helgramite. You guys just keep watching, keep watching engine. Boom, look at that. Look at that, the durability of this plastic. A normal plastic like this wouldn't be able to stretch out. This is what, I think this is actually like 10 inches. Your normal plastic wouldn't do that. It would just rip if you do it. You would just be wasting money at that point. But with the Nico Baits, they're extremely durable plastic. And the neat thing about these plastics as well is they're buoyant, meaning they're going to float. So you can nose hook this. I'll get to all that rigging method in just a sec. I'm going a little too fast. But they're really extremely durable, buoyant plastics that are also swallow safe for the bass. Meaning if a bass gets a hold of this lure and they... You know, you break off, bad knot, stuff happens, no worries, you're not going to do any harm to the bass because this plastic is going to dissolve in their system, in their stomachs, and not get stuck in their stomach like other plastics do. I've seen bass where there's a Senko sticking out their anus and they can't shit it out or process it because it's straight plastic. Well, with the Nico Baits, you don't have to worry about that. Another neat thing about Nico Bates is the plastics they're made out of are eco-friendly, meaning they're safe for the environment. So you're not fishing with anything that's doing any damage to the environment. There's some plastics out there in the that don't tell you what's in their plastics or guys really don't know. And it's really important for us anglers to protect the bodies of water and mother nature because we're the ones who use it. And if we're gonna use or go out there and fish, we should take care of our Places you should take care of the bodies of water to keep it going for next generations and the youth to keep going and keep fishing and enjoy the sport that we do. So that's something to keep aware, guys. So that's a little bit about Nico. They're also a Japanese company located out in um, I don't know where they're located, guys. I'm sorry, I would have to look it up. But they're they're a Japanese lure. They're from Japan. They're JDM, and they're pretty affordable for pack of the Helgramites, which you get four for seven dollars it's not bad and these are not your cheap plastics you know they're gonna freaking last you a while and they're extremely durable save yourself some money and get these plastics but enough of that guys we're gonna talk about now different rigging methods for this plastic and i'm gonna show you guys about three or a few different my favorite ways to rig this up actually first and foremost i have one of my favorite rigs of all time if you guys have not seen the video the thumbnail's up right here. Go check it out. It's in my new recent videos that I've uploaded, so be sure to check out that video, guys, and learn about my favorite rig of all time. 
anyways the Jika rig so how you do it simple it's like a Texas rig you're gonna go in through the nose guys and then you're gonna come out go bottom of the plastics slide that onto your hook to it turn around see how far you're gonna go into the plastic right about there boom and now what this looks like in the water it's gonna stand up direct like this and what I like to do is just twitch it make it look like a fleeing Helgramite in the water smallmouth love that I've used this rigging method same exact setup out in the pond actually too in this freaking largemouth we're just hitting it and this was in December for Illinois which is crazy so largemouth and smallmouth will hit this this rigging method Chica rig. So now the next method I like to use with the Helgramite is if I'm seeing smallmouth busting on the surface, whether that being minnows, you know, little mayflies, insects, the Helgramite does a great job of imitating that. It just depends on where you're going to hook it. So let's say you're fishing three oaks. It's a quarry out in Illinois. I went out there this past summer and these smallmouth were just busting on the surface. I threw everything I knew and I could not get these small ones to bite. My friend threw everything he had in his arsenal and he had the same results as me. Nothing, scum. So I'm sitting there all frustrated and I told myself, you know what man, I I've seen this before. I'm gonna give it a try. What I did to catch, and I'm gonna have the picture of the smallmouth right there for you guys to see, wherever, wherever it's gonna be on the screen. And all I did, how did I catch that smallmouth was this. You grab a circle hook, like something you use for a wacky worm drop shot, and you're gonna nose hook that worm, or the Helgramite. Top, bottom, it didn't matter which way. I went bottom and up, and that's, this plastic is so buoyant that it kept the hook from the surface, and it was just like this. And all I did was just twitch it, and it was floating on the surface perfectly, and it would just go side side like that, kind of like walking a dog almost, or sometimes it'll just dart forward. So I was just doing that. That says just nose hooking it. Smallmouth just killed it. There was two smallmouth, and they were just busting on mayflies. This imitated a mayfly perfectly, and I saw two smallmouth go at it at the same time, fighting each other over the same freaking meal. And I caught one of them. The second one was bigger, but. First one got to it before the other one could, so. Oh well, I caught a fish, but that's the second way, nose hooking it. And my third, final favorite way to fish this is the good old Ned jig. As you guys can see, just a regular Ned jig, nothing special. And all you're gonna do is thread it on to the Helgramite like you would. And if you're fishing the river, I've done this in the uh, ponds too, and the lake before. And if you just do this method, it's not the prettiest guys, I'm just putting it in there just for display. The TRD from Z-Man, it's gonna stand up vertically. Well, the Helgramite does the same concept. It's gonna stand up vertically in the water. And all you have to do is twitch it, hop it, whatever you do, whatever retrieve you're gonna use, use it. And this is basically imitating a more natural presentation. It could be looking like a crayfish. It could be looking like a, just a Helgramite, a little bug in the water standing up. The bass is gonna swim by it and see, oh, heck, that looks cool. That looks interesting. It eats an easy meal. I'm gonna go and eat it. Now, those are my favorite three ways to rig this Helgramite, guys, from Nico. So you got the Jika rig, you can nose hook it, or you can even throw in a Ned rig jig head, or a Ned jig. So versatile in how many different ways to rig it. And guess what, guys? durability is there it's gonna last you a while so if you guys want to pick up some of your own nico baits helgramites there's two places to my knowledge that you can go pick them up first and foremost you got amazon so if you do not live in the chicagoland area then go on amazon and order from there you want to look up nico baits that's the brand you want to look for now if you guys live close or are willing to make a trip out to lee's bane tackle then go out there and pick them up there they have June bug color, which is my favorite color for dirty water. So if I had to choose two colors, I'd go June bug for dirty and I go the light brown with the gold flake. That's just my favorite color. I don't like green pumpkin. I don't like natural. This is my favorite one for the Helgramite. So Lee's Bay and Tackle and Carroll Stream or in Elk Grove Village, they carry them. And these guys, they sell them by four packs, same price or same amount if you're gonna order from Amazon. Four packs, and these are seven bucks 
from Lee's Bait and Tackle. I don't know what the price is on Amazon. If you guys want to go buy them from Amazon, the link will be in the description of this video down below. So click that and go purchase your very own Nico Helgramite. And be sure to follow Nico Bates on Instagram because they post pretty cool, dope content on their Instagram page. And guys, this is just, come on. Like, do you know a plastic can catch so many fish? Like guys, I swear by this. I've caught an over 30 smallmouth on just one and it's still going. I don't know any other plastic that's doing that and it's beneficial for both fishermen and mother nature being safe and toxic free for the environment. That being said guys, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you learn something new as tackle wise and this is one, my first tackle Tuesday video which is the Nico Bay Telgramite. Be sure to go subscribe to the channel to see more and drop positive likes or drop positive comments and drop likes on this video if you want to see more in future videos of Tackle Tuesdays where I talk about another product. If you guys get this video to let's say, I don't know, 20 likes or something like that, we'll do another Nico Bates Tackle Tuesday talk and it'd be another product of mine that I love to use too for smallmouth and largemouth, especially largemouth and finicky bodies of water. Anyways, guys, this is Angel Art Fishing. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, guys, no joke. I just broke off on a three pound largemouth. I don't know what to say. It was right off my Jika rig too. Came up and just demolished it. So now what I'm doing is I'm tying on my circle hook and I'm just nose hooking this bait through. I'm gonna see if I'm able to uh, get this fish to bite. I really don't know. He just grabbed it. All I know is he might as well as just spit it out. Speaking, just being realistic here, guys. But he was a monster. Like he didn't hesitate. Just came up and destroyed it. And we got a horse on the background, people. I'm gonna call him Chester the horse. Ooh, oh, I think that's the large mouth. Ooh. Okay, the one I missed was a lot bigger than this. Oh. Oh. He's right between my legs. Oh my god. My butt. Wow, that's a football. Oh my god. This is the one. This one, oh my god. People, he ate the Jika Ray. This is that large mouth. You want to know why? My knot didn't break, but my line snapped on me. Look at this. I'm gonna. There's a piece of line sticking out of his mouth, right? I didn't know what it was. So we're gonna do you a favor here, bud. But look at this. Look at that. He ate my Jika ray, and he came back for it. I thought, oh my God, I'm surprised. You know what though? The neat thing about these plastics from Nico is the fact that if these bass do swallow it, it will go through their body, their um, digestive system. So it does not, it's eco-friendly plastic. But holy crap guys, that's insane. 
I could have sworn it was a bigger one that ate this, but apparently not. It was this little chunker. You could tell, whatever he's eating, he's healthy. That's just a beautiful largemouth right there for you guys. That's a chunky. Chunky, chunky, chunky. All right, I'm gonna let him go now. He's been through a lot already. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. 